Hey everyone, welcome back to the mill. So uh, today we're going to calibrate the sensor that comes with version three. This is a sensor that um, allows the mill to know how far off the bottom it is. And so um, the steps we're gonna take is, uh, and I've already done this part, is we're gonna lower the mill down as low as it'll go um, without any slack in it. So you wanna bring it up just a little bit. You basically you wanna get as low as you can where there's no slack in the thing. So that we, if, um, if the mill goes down that low, it's actually doing something and not just taking slack out of the cable. So you want to get the mill as low as it'll go. And then, so I did that by getting a little slack on the cable and then going up a little bit until I could feel the mill starting to move. And then I stopped right there. So that, that I figured that's my bottom. And then the next thing we're going to do is go into the back and um, we're going to um, adjust the sensor. There's a little light on the sensor that comes on when it's detecting the bolt. So we're going to bring that in so the light comes on back it off a little bit and then just inch it just bring it forward just a little bit to uh, make sure that the, uh, the so the light comes on then we're going to tie it down with our tie downs and there is a bolt with a lock nut there so you can adjust that to make fine adjustments if you need to and then uh, once we've got that done we're going to go into the menu here and there's a, a menu option to home and the mill is going to go down it's going to go up a little bit down and it's going to uh, home in on that sensor to detect this bottom. And then after that, we're going to measure the, we're going to move the sawmill over one of the bunks, the first bunk, and then we're going to measure the distance between the blade and the uh, bunk. And then we're going to go into the settings and there's a setting that we can use to, uh, to adjust, to put that number in there. So that then at that point there, the mill will know um, how far off the bottom that when it, when it lowers down to where the sensor detects, um, the bolt that it knows that it's whatever that setting number is that that's how far off the bunk it is so um so let's uh do that and let's give it a try so i've already done the um the lifting the mill and getting it to the height that i want so now i'm going to go uh go to the back and adjust those uh that sensor with the light so let me take you over there so you guys can see that okay hopefully you guys can see that and i'm gonna just inch this thing forward a little bit Okay, hopefully you guys can see that that light came on. I'm going to back it off just a little bit. Okay, it went back off and there it's back on. So I'm going to, um, yeah, just the slightest little movement turns it off and on. So I'm going to um, go ahead and um, put my tie downs on it, on it right now to tie it down. And then um, if necessary, I've this bolt sticking out about a quarter of an inch so I can loosen up this lock nut and turn this to adjust it. To get a little closer if I need to, but uh, for now I'm just gonna put this on here. That seems pretty tight. Let me check this one again. There we go.
right that seems pretty good so i'll have to get some nippers and nip that off but that that takes care of that part so let's go back to the front and let's um do the homing process all right so i had to play around with this a little bit you know and what i found out is that what you want to do is you want to uh raise it up a couple inches before you start doing the homing because it needs needs a little bit of room to go back down and um, sometimes you'll get a hard limit error because it doesn't have the room to do that so what I found is um, I played around with it a little bit and I did I did the homing a few times and um, I, 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 I kind of went back to I set my bottom height and adjusted the sensor by moving it back and forth a little bit to um, I tried to get an inch off the off the bottom, but I still had a problem with that off off the bunk. So I did an inch inch and an eighth, and I um, and I set my height for that, and I'll show you how how to do that. So anyway, so that's what I did to get mine to home and to home in. So um, let me show you how to home it, and uh, and then uh, we'll take it from there. So what um, so the first thing you want to do is raise it up a little bit. So I'm going to raise it up a couple of inches. It really doesn't have to be a couple inches. Half an inch would be enough, but I'll raise it up an inch or so. Okay, so I raised it up, and then I'll, let me bring you guys closer, and I'll show you how to go into the homing mode. Okay, so we're in the lift mode, and uh, we've raised it up uh, an inch or so, and then so all you need to do is hold the mode button down, and then it goes into a menu option to cancel home or start lift home. You just go up to start lift home and then press zero so i'm gonna um, bring the camera back out so you guys can see what the lift does while i'm doing that and then i'll press the, i'll press that zero and start that all right so i'm going to press the zero now and start the homing operation Okay, so it's finished the homing operation, and uh, let me bring you guys back in closer and show you how you adjust that setting so that it knows how high it is off the off the um, the bunk. What you need to do is go in there and measure it with a ruler and see what it is, and then go in and change the setting. All right, so we'll just keep pressing mode till we get down to the settings. All right, and then we'll press zero to go into settings. And then you can see that there's uh, more options now. There's sawmill setup, power lift configuration, power feed configuration, edit settings. We're already on the power lift configuration. If you wanted to change those, you could go up and down. But we're in the power lift configuration, so we're going to hit zero to go into there. And then uh, you can see there's lift rate, lift step, lift acceleration, and lift offset. And that's where you would go down and change the number, you know. And so you just highlight it or put the arrow on it press the plus or the minus to change it to the number you want and then press zero and no you don't need to press zero just press mode and you go back out and it's set so um, and that's all there is to it measure uh, down the blade between the blade and the bunk to get that setting and that'll do it so that's how you do the calibration um, so you need to play around with it a little bit um, if, like I said, if you do get a hard limit error, then uh, readjust your sensor back there so the, l the light goes off. Restart your um, power lift and uh, raise it up a couple inches and try it, try it again. Um, it, like I said, I did do it several times to get the hang of it and so forth. And so, um, But now that I've got that, I need to learn how to use it. So I've still got some more experimenting to do and some more work to do. But I wanted to get this video out for you guys so you guys could see how to calibrate it. And um, that's it. So thanks uh, for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you will. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.